Coming up on How Do They Do It. How do they produce screws strong enough to hold a fighter jet together? How do they cook up the Queen of England's favourite breakfast spread, marmalade? And how do they use a printer to create a dress fit for the catwalk? We take you around the world to show you how on How Do They Do It? There are over 7 billion people on the planet. Around half of them have worn a dress. For decades, buying one of these garments meant going down the shops, rifling through dozens of racks, trying on different sizes, and then hiking home again. But why bother with all of that when you can create a dress like this using a printer no bigger than a microwave? So, how do they do it? Melbourne, Australia. Designer Kay Woi Lim is busy planning his next project. Kay is a trendsetter in the world of 3D printing and has designed everything from watches to toys and bracelets. Today, he's going to become one of the first people in history to use a 3D printer to make an entire floral printed dress. The motivation behind this is the idea that an individual can print their own dress in their own home. They don't necessarily need to have an expensive printer, but one of these standard personal desktop printers to print from. Kay's first problem is that his little machine can't print out a full-size dress in one go. He has to break down the design into 191 different sections to be stuck together later. Starting with this plain wire pattern, he painstakingly transforms each section into a three-dimensional floral design. With the design complete, the file is loaded onto a card to transfer it to the printer. The trouble is, most 3D printers produce hard plastic models. Kay's dress needs to be light and flexible. The answer is found on the other side of the world, at API in the Netherlands. Here, they make a lightweight biopolymer, specially for use in 3D printers. The raw material is called polylactic acid, or PLA. And unlike most plastics, it's not made from petrochemicals. It's made from cornstarch and sugarcane. Turning these silver sacks of biopolymer into something a printer can use is a job for this machine. Getting it up and running has taken a lot of effort for Bas Krins and a team of scientists, but this company is now the world's leading supplier of PLA. Sometimes you have to struggle for months or for, for years in order to get something done. And that's, of course, nice when you, after all, succeed in um, having a project that is put into operation commercially. The process begins by emptying the PLA into this hopper. Inside, it's heated to 220 degrees Celsius, which turns the solid pellets into a viscous liquid. The extruder then pushes out two strands, known as monofilaments. As they pass through this three-meter-long bath of warm water, they slowly solidify. The two strands are then reeled in using this machine, and it's here that Baz faces his biggest hurdle. The major challenge was obtaining a monofilament with a diameter that is uh, the same over the whole length and a very good roundness. 3D printers need filaments that are perfectly formed. But if the strands are reeled in too fast or too slow, their thickness changes. These wheels are Bass's solution. If the strands are under strain, it means they're being reeled in too quickly. This tension pulls the counterweighted wheel upwards, and the machine sends a message to the bobbin to slow down. The result is rolls of flawless, flexible strands. Perfect for creating dress panels on Kay's 3D printer. All Kay has to do is attach a reel to the back of the machine. 
When he hits the on switch, the printer pulls the filament through a tube and into an extruder, which heats it up. Ultimaker's software breaks down the dress design into a series of cross sections and sends these to the printer. The printer head lays down these cross sections one at a time using 0.1 mm thick layers of melted polymer. The result is a section of dress that perfectly matches the original design. It takes three printers a week to print all the 191 black and white fragments he needs. Then he lays sections down, following a master pattern on the wall. So this is the moment of truth uh, uh, before we stick it all together. Um, hopefully it all works out. It takes K four to five hours to assemble the giant jigsaw. And a garment made entirely from starch and glue takes shape. Now the 3D model dress is ready for its 3D human model. Hello. Hi, welcome. Wow, that, that's, um, that's amazing. How does it feel? It's cool and at the same time it's sexy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> From hot printed plastic to haute couture, all at the push of a button.